Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Hanging out here with the big Joe Herd at the new ranch. And uh, you can probably tell there's something new on the ranch. Uh, yes, we've got a, a new tool now. A, uh, a tool that's going to change the way we do things. It's going to make life a lot easier, a lot safer, and uh, a lot more efficient by using the new Holland 332 skid steer. We were able to get this at the end of the year. We got this locally and we can't be more excited. Uh, uh, my wife and I can't be more excited. I know Kevin's excited too. The bison are even excited. First thing I did with it was I uh, put a bale of hay out to the big Joe herd, to the big herd uh, at the first day I got it just to do a little test run on it and whatnot. But guys, uh, this, these are so handy and I can't wait to tell you um, more about it. And I can't wait to show you all the things it can do. You there's so many things we're gonna be able to do with this. The, the thing about this property is we've got so much work to do on this property. Cleanup projects, new fence projects, uh, clearing some timber, clearing uh, some blackberry bushes. Uh, yes, we'll keep some of them, but not all of them. Um, ditch repair, uh, creeks to repair, washouts. So many things. We even can use this to work the bison. You'll see this quite a bit being used. Such a versatile tool that we're going to use here on the farm. It's going to be a great tool for us. And I think it'll be a game changer out here on the new ranch. Um, trying to grow this thing and trying to improve it. Maya wants to play with the stick again. Okay, we'll play in a second. But what I'm doing today is actually, I know I've talked about them and you've seen my couple of recent videos, but these freestanding panels, I've got some freestanding panels left. I've got about eight. And what I'm going to do here is I've got my Dakota Pure calves right here. Um, and uh, cross timbers bison calves now, but I, if you hear me talk about them, uh, I got them from Dakota Pure uh, Buddies Scott up at uh, Mission South Dakota area. So what I'm going to do is actually build a little pin here using these panels, uh, these ones I have left, and uh, give these guys, these these calves, a little bit more grazing room. Because what we're doing in the meantime is we're clearing brush and building some new fence so we can expand and start when the spring comes around. And the early summer comes around, we'll be able to put these calves and, and uh, on green grass is what we want to do. So we are preparing to build fence and uh, so that we can uh, start to let the bison out when the green grass shows up. So I'm going to set up a little pin here, give them just a little bit extra room. But also something else I want to tell you about is right here. I want you to take a look. This is the area that we are going to build our handling facility. We're gonna put a tub right here, an alley system, and then our squeeze chute will be right here leading back into our loadout area. I'll show you all that here in the future, but um, I'm gonna, we're gonna build all that right here and make it very tough and durable so we can hopefully work, you know. Um, right now there's only about 20 bison over here, 21 bison, but in the future we hope to have 30 or 40 um, in the near future at this place. And, and someday it may be more than that. It may not, but um, I think that's our numbers that we can have here on this property. So that's going to go there as well. So in the meantime, we're going to put these extra freestanding panels up using the skid steer. And um, well, I've got it. I'm going to use it. So anyways, let's get to work. Get these calves a little bit more room to work with.
So I've got the panel set up. Got one little overlap here, which is not a big deal, but it added up pretty close to being perfect. Um, just need to go and wrap around the chains that are built into those freestanding panels. Go ahead and hook them up. And then uh, a way these guys can get in here is one little area right here. This is the loadout. If you watch some of my previous videos, there's this old head gate that's here. And uh, this has actually been pretty helpful. We'll take it out eventually because we won't need it. But this head gate has been nice because we've been able to load animals out here and they go out here because this is typically where the trailer would be. So about this, all I've got to do is take these, move them back, and they'll have access to get out there and hang out in this pen just to give them a little bit more extra room. It'll take them a little bit to figure this out, but once they do, they'll be okay. go through and chain up all these panels and these guys once they figure out hey I can go in here uh, they'll love it because there's actually there is some green in here just some winter grasses looks like there's some Bermuda up here and whatnot but it, there is uh, some green patches and they can just come in here this is actually my wife's idea this is Marissa's idea she's got you got those panels you might as well use them you got the skid steer now so just use those panels make a pin and uh, I was like, all right, you're right, Marissa. So um, I did it and uh, give them a little bit more room because we do this, we put them in these confined spaces for a while. And then when the green grass shows up, guys, April, May, they're going out on the pasture. And so that's what we're doing right now is building fence, getting this place ready. So these cows can get out on grass, which is where they belong is out on the grass. You and these sticks. It's not even a stick. It was a weed at one time. Go get it. Get that stick. Get the stick. Hey. Seen better days.
I'm figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs>